Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here today. Um, maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible new series. For people who don't know anything about a town called Malice, mm -hmm. what can they expect? You, wow. you can expect a lot of um, highly stylized action, crime thriller, drama and flamboyance. Yeah. Driven by very much the time. So like music, clothes, you know, the Costa del Sol, yeah. sun, yeah. colour, just everything. It's a, it's a, as a, it, yeah. There's a good line that in the synopsis when we got the parts and stuff like it said a neon soaked love letter to the 80s. I think that summarises it really well. Yeah, for sure. And of course, Nick Nov, no stranger to kind of capturing so well, um, you know, sort of a certain part of British society. Yeah. Um, and that really runs through, you know, this this series. What was it like working with him? Did you know about his other work? Had you watched it all? And, and you know, what was he like as a director on set? Yeah, I, I, knew, I, knew, I knew of Nick Love. Like, I loved my, <clears> one of my favourite films that sort of gave me the, you know, one of the things that made me want to be an actor was Goodbye Charlie Bright, which was his first film. So working with Nick was always quite special for me. And he's, you know, he's such a unique guy. Like, you for know, sure. we had, we had a character. Yeah, we have a great relationship <laughs> yeah, with him. And he'd yeah. he done a lot for us, I mm. think, just by just being there. Yeah. So like, we, you know, as you go on, for the, you know, he he would always just be around so he was someone to look at and go yeah. i feel safe I've got it yeah exactly he's 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 here for us and <clears throat> he was just so so like encouraging and supportive and very real you know what i mean he wasn't he wasn't oh, don't, don't, oh, see i can't describe him without swearing <laughs> yeah yeah you can't yeah can't. just loads of bleeps in this video <laughs> so many bleeps, yeah. but but it was like i think we can both say like we love him, yeah, like, yeah. literally. And I think that just says everything. And what you said there at the beginning about it being stylized, it's so true, isn't it? But it just so leans into the kind of 80s aesthetic, you know, from the clothes to the music. Um, of course, you know, going to all the different locations as well. What were some of the best bits on set in that respect? And I guess for yourselves, you have to kind of go back and do some research, you know, not having necessarily lived through that period. Yeah, we were spoiled with like locations. I yeah, think, like. we really were. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It was, it's easy to get up in the morning when you know all you've got to do is roll around in the, well, roll around in the Rolls Royce, just <laughs> cruising. cruising around, like, oh, that's how we start our day. So it, it definitely, there's worse places to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, oh, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> about being more, in the 80s, like the costumes. Like the 80s, about it, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's like same thing. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't too difficult because I think everyone, like, from makeup and hair and costume and production design, like everyone did their job so well that it was so easy to be like immersed in the 80s um, and really feel like we were there. Yeah, um, well, even to our clothes, like a lot of mine and Tahira's clothes mm. were... Were actual vintage yeah, pieces. Hired yeah, hired pieces, yeah, yeah. which are not From in, the 80s. Which is yeah. why we couldn't keep them though. I know, I know. Even <laughs> though we wanted to, because yeah. all of our favourite outfits yeah. of course they were hard yeah, yeah yeah but they were yeah. even when you put them on yeah. right they just feel different yeah feel like you're you're wearing history mm. in a way. and what about playing these two amazing characters i mean i feel like in the beginning we're sort of lured into a false sense of security that we're sort of watching you know this sweet love story and of course it all goes like full on and you know it's, it's all bonnie and clyde sort of style mm -hmm. um you know how do you see your two characters and, and was it a lot of fun to play them it it was a lot of fun to play these characters. And what I like, I think, again, I read somewhere that Nick um, Nick Love said somewhere, like, yes, we, you know, Jean and Cindy are, you know, kind of a bit of a Bonnie and Clyde of a town called Malice, but that Cindy is more of a Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me... a Clyde and Clyde thing. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. That made me laugh yeah. so much because, because that's the thing about, yeah, like you said, yes, you are being lulled into kind of like a full sense of security where it's like, oh, team love bears, you know, well in romance. And then it's like, okay, no, that is not the dynamic here really at all. These are, th yeah. this isn't, that is not what we're going to be watching. Do you know what I mean? And I think the thing you know. that probably binds um, Jean and Cindy is the loyalty. Like loyalty is like probably the most important thing, I think, to like both of our characters. And we seem to find that in each other. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it was, it was, it was a pleasure working with to hear her. Likewise. <laughs> that was good acting, right? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking.
<laughs> and just super quickly, what do you think people can take away from watching it? I mean, it feels like, you know, you're sort of taken on the roller coaster ride and, you know, there's a bit of escapism in there. Yeah. It is a bit miserable at the moment. Yeah. Going to those sunny shores oh, and yeah. being, you know, wrapped up in this world for a while. It seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, and do you know what I hope? Like, I hope sometimes when you listen to certain music or wear a certain outfit, it does make you feel better about yourself, right? So, yeah, I hope someone could watch our show. And I know it sounds really weird, but in a way, just be inspired to just go, do you know what? I'm not going to sit and and be in this anymore. I want to fulfill my dream. So I want to go out. Like, do you know what I mean? It will, it will hopefully inspire people to just go, do you know what? If I want to, I'm going to go on holiday if I want. I don't have to just wait till mm -hmm. a certain time. I don't know. Maybe I'm not making sense here, but like the show does enough to make someone feel inspired to maybe whip out the old track jacket and yeah, yeah, yeah. go, I want to yeah. stand out today. It's definitely um, going to like, <clears throat> like everyone, like I feel like 80s fashion, hair, makeup and music is probably going to like, you know, be pop, like once well, it's already quite popular, but it's going to have a bit of a resurgence like after this show, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm going to keep my eyes out as well, be like, oh, okay. Yeah, oh, Sergio, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a nice Cindy. track jacket. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing that. Oh. I mean, cannot wait for everyone to see this amazing show. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.